What's happening guys, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you guys the techniques you need in order to drive without traction control on F1 2021. So originally I was supposed to release this video, as you can see, I've even made a thumbnail for it. However, I just didn't have the times to get the beginner footage and the F1 Esports drivers footage. So instead, this video is gonna come out at a later date and I'm gonna give you guys a rundown on how to drive without traction control instead of comparing it to different levels. So how do you drive without traction control? Well, let's find that out. Whenever I hear people talking about assists and which assists are the hardest to take off, traction control is almost always at the top of that list. And there's a good reason for that though. Traction control is designed to help stop or limit the amount of slip that the car's driven wheels experience. In an F1's case, TC would limit the amount of wheel spin your rear tires will experience on the exit of a corner. The only issue with traction control on F1 2021 is that it's quite forceful, meaning that even if you're using medium, you're still losing out on time compared to the people who don't use traction control at all. So how do you turn off traction control without spinning every time you even think about breathing on the throttle? If you've ever watched F1 in real life, which if you're playing the games, I will assume that you have, you'll hear that drivers have very smooth inputs. But what does that actually mean? Well, in an F1 car, you have three different inputs, the throttle, the brake, and the steering wheel. Without assist, if you're aggressive with any of these three inputs, it can cause you to lose control of the car. In the throttle's case, if you're too aggressive with the power, you will cause your tires to lose grip and you'll be doing donuts in no time. To combat this, you need to start with a small amount of power on the exit of a corner, and as you straighten up the car, you can apply more throttle input. The faster the corner, the more initial throttle input you can make on exit. And the main reason for that is, well, F1 cars are designed to go fast, which means that they handle better at higher speed. So the car has more grip going out of the Chapel Corner at Silverstone, for example, than it would coming out of the first chicane at Monza. If you do end up putting a bit too much power down too early, just gently lift off the throttle and help control the car using your steering wheel. No traction control and manual gears. These two assists work really well together. When you take them both off, it gives you a lot more control with how the car acts on track. This isn't much of a case in real life, but in the F1 games, you may have heard of short shifting a lot. What that means is you shift up to a higher gear before the optimal shifting point for any particular gear. This does have its benefits, especially in wet conditions. Short shifting helps reduce the amount of power that the car is giving to your rear tires. This means that you can get on the power a lot quicker than if you had shifted at the optimal point coming out of the slower speed corners. In wet conditions, this is even more beneficial to you as you need to be even more careful with your inputs. Okay, so these are some little tips that I think will help you guys when it comes to learning no traction control. The way that the car interacts with the curbs on F1 2021 is a lot more realistic than F1 2020. Not 100% realistic of course, but it's getting there, meaning that you need to know which curbs you can and cannot take. The best way to learn this is to either watch my track guides, which there will be a link in the description, or just going out there and practicing yourself. The next tip I have for you guys is ERS. ERS sends more power to your car, meaning that coming out of slower speed corners, this can disturb your inputs, causing you to spin. I recommend waiting until your car is almost fully straight in dry conditions, or you're in at least sixth gear in wet conditions to start using your ERS. Also, use hold on your ERS mode instead of toggle. The number of times I've seen people accidentally leave their overtake on going into a corner is way too many times. Just use hold and you'll be fine. Lastly, you have your diff settings. The differential changes the rate at which your rear tires rotate, which means that the higher the number, so the higher the percentage, the more that your rear tires will spin at the same rate. A higher differential means better traction, but less turning potential and more tire wear to your rear tires. And a low diff means better turning and less wear to your rear tires, but worse traction on exit. When it comes to F1 2021, I recommend using anywhere between 85 and 100% usually. If you guys feel as if you need any additional help with any of the other assists, make sure to wait until the end card to learn how to drive without ABS or without the racing line. Or if you just want general tips on how to drive without assists, make sure to go and watch that video as well. There will be a link in the top right hand side of the screen right about now. Now that you've watched this video, all you guys need to do is just go out there and practice. 
So make sure to subscribe to this channel if you did enjoy this video and you want to catch my next video on traction control. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in my next video.